Hello everyone, I am Dr. Yamini Agarwal, Consultant in Reproductive Medicine in Genome Fertility Center, Siliguri. Today I am going to discuss something about IVF, that is in vitro fertilization or in simple words test tube baby. So who has to undergo this procedure which is an advanced procedure carried out in fertility clinics? The couples when the females both the tubes are blocked which is confirmed laparoscopically or when the female age is more and her ovarian reserve that is the number of eggs in the ovaries have reduced very much or uh, when there is severe endometriosis or, uh, or when we have done around uh, four to five cycles of IUI and it has failed then we can go ahead with this procedure that is IVF. So what do we do in this procedure? In short, we can say that whatever process is happening in normal pregnancy, in natural pregnancy, in the fallopian tubes, we do that in the lab in in vitro fertilization. So what do we do? We call the patients on her day two of her cycle and start injections for her after some blood investigations. This injections will be taken for around 10 to 12 days. After that, uh, we see whether the eggs are formed or not. So once the eggs are formed in good number and uh, uh, size, then we retrieve those the fluid of the eggs under anesthesia and examine it under the microscope in the lab. So embryologist plays a very important role in this procedure as well as the lab. So once we see the eggs under the microscope, we fertilize it with the husband's or the donor, whatever the situation may be, the sperms and they form an embryo which is later on transferred inside the patient's uterus either in the same cycle or in the next cycle. So this is the procedure which is carried out in the lab. The, not, the natural uh, processes which is happening in the tube is carried out in the lab and when the embryos are formed they are transferred inside the uterus. So there are certain things which the patients have misconceptions that many patients ask that uh, if we undergo IVF, uh, uh, will our baby be abnormal? Will, uh, will the uh, uh, chances of abnormal baby or congenital abnormalities in the baby will be high? But the answer is no. In, uh, it is as the percentage of congenital abnormalities in the baby is the same as in the natural pregnancy. So you can undergo IVF without fear that your baby will be abnormal due to this procedure. Secondly, they think that we have to ha be uh, in a complete bed rest after the procedure, but that is also not so. Definitely after the embryo transfer, you have to be careful not to do heavy exercise or heavy work, but the day-to-day -day activities can be carried out. Uh, one more thing is there, this IVF can be done with the self-eggs or if the ovarian reserve is very, very less, we can even go for donor egg IVF. The success rate of IVF usually with the self eggs it is around 20 to 30 percent and with the donor eggs it can even come up to 50 to 60 percent. So uh, to conclude I can say that IVF is a process in which the lab as well as the embryologist and the doctor plays a very important role so it is better you choose wisely if, the, if you have to undergo this procedure. Thank you for seeing this video.